Hello everyone, this is going to be a short little video review about the web page that you will be sent to if you visit the Humble Bundle website link for the recent Humble Bundle 5. Specifically, the important part is about the purchasing interface, but I'm going to do a general overview of the page first for those of you who may have never purchased or looked into the Humble Bundles before, probably due to a lack of interest in the games offered. So the first thing is, what are you going to see when you click the link? Well, you'll arrive at this page. I'm rather fond of their bundle interface. It's very clean, and it's very simple for a new user to understand. Now, it displays the time left in the top right. Below that is a list of the games you'll receive in the bundle. You can click on them to pull up a small information box about the game, plus a YouTube trailer to inform you as to what the game is, so you can get a hint about if you're going to be into that sort of thing or not. And over here on the right-hand side are the two charities that are partaking in this Humble Indie Bundle, the EFF and the Child's Play Charity. You can click their portraits to gain a little information box about them, plus a link to their websites if you're like me and you're incredibly suspicious of charity organizations. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I yelled at people for jumping on the Coney 2012 bandwagon, and I'm very suspicious of charities and nonprofit organizations, and refuse to support them without doing a little research first. So, I like that the charity organizations, plus a link to their websites, are right there in the open, not hidden in fine print at the bottom of the page. That's nice. And obviously the bronies are loving and tolerating the shit out of this bundle. Bro hoof. And that brings us to the next point, the purchasing interface. This, I really like. First off, you can get it as a present, that's nice, but look at the slider bars. You can specify where you'd like your donation to go to. This is really nice. I know a lot of people who instinctively turn their noses up at seeing charity donations, because sometimes you don't get to choose where the money is going to go, and as such, you don't know if your money will be well spent and put to good use and for a good cause. And there are a lot of people who will avoid supporting charities because that's a problem and they have a lot of skepticism. But look at this. You can adjust the slider bars to determine which group your bundle donations go to. So if I want all of my donation to go to one of these specific charities, for example, I can do that. That's really nice, especially for the skeptics out there. You can also click the number box to the right and input how much of the total you would like to go to a certain area. And if you want to split it amongst four or five groups, that might be easier than using the slider bars. But it's really nice that this feature is here. When I first visited the Humble Bundle page, I figured I'd have no control over where the money went, and I am very happy that that isn't the case. There is one problem that i found, and that's the payment methods. PayPal, Amazon, Google Checkout, all major credit cards accepted, payment via bank account also supported by PayPal, blah 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 blah. Here's the problem. I'm currently changing banks at the moment in real life, which means that all my cards are totally invalid. No online transactions for me until that's all sorted out. Which means that I can't pick up this bundle through any of the listed methods. There is one place that I do have some money that I could drop onto an online transaction that I had set up before I changed banks, and that's in my Steam wallet. There's not a lot there, but it's more than one cent. But to my surprise, I can't buy this on Steam, or use my Steam wallet to get the bundle. Normally that wouldn't bother me, but here's the thing. All of these games are available on Steam. Bastion is on Steam for $14.99. Amnesia The Dark Descent is on Steam for $19.99. Psychonauts is on Steam for $9.99. Limbo is on Steam for $9.99. And that fifth game with a really long name is on Steam for $7.99. All five games can be purchased on Steam. And also, if you look to the right-hand side near the top of the page, if you pay at least $1, you get Steam activation keys for all this stuff. So you can get Steam keys for all of them. Why can't I just contribute to the bundle with my Steam wallet? I've searched on Steam for Humble Bundle, Humble Indie Bundle, Indie Bundle, and I can't find anything that would indicate participation in this bundle, nor did I find anything of that nature when I went to the pages for all the games that I just listed to check their price a moment ago. They're obviously working with Steam to some extent, if they're giving away Steam keys as part of this. Why can't I just pay for the bundle on Steam? Is there a particular reason? Am I missing something? If I am, please leave a comment down below and let me know, because at the moment I can't think of very many reasons why all these games which give Steam keys and are available on Steam couldn't be given to me as a bundle with a Steam payment method. Because at the moment, because I cannot use my Steam wallet as a payment method, I cannot give them a single penny. I'd really like it if Steam was usable as one of the payment methods for this bundle. There's 10 days left on the bundle, maybe it can be added in before that time, and if not, maybe the next bundle that comes along can do that. Because if I can't use my Steam wallet, then I'd have to borrow someone's credit card to do it. Because I was thinking of getting Amnesia and doing a Let's Play of it. It'd be nice if I could pick it up from the Steam bundle. Though I might be able to borrow someone's credit card, because I have a bunch of friends. Not everyone is so fortunate, however. Some people can't borrow a credit card. Some people have no friends. Some people are virgins. What about them? Think about the virgins. Yeah, it'd be really nice if a Steam payment method was added in. That'd be totally jello.